Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can create a shared calendar in Microsoft Teams. And to create a shared calendar, I'm gonna use both Microsoft Teams and SharePoint to do this. As full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. Now first off, why would you want to create a shared calendar? Well, maybe you're a teacher and you wanna create a shared calendar so all of your students can see when various assignments are due or they could see when different tests are coming up. Maybe you work at an office and you wanna use a shared calendar to track when everyone's taking vacation, or maybe you're a lawyer in a small practice and you wanna see what the calendar looks like for the other lawyers across your practice. Whatever the reason is, the good news is it's very easy to set up a shared calendar and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how you can do that. All right, well, why don't we jump on the PC and I'll show you how. Here I am on my PC and I have Microsoft Teams open in my browser. You could also access Microsoft Teams through the desktop app. When I create the shared calendar, everyone who has access to this team will also get access to the shared calendar. To see who will get access, what I can do is let's go over to your teams and here's a team I set up called the Kevin Stratford YouTube channel. When I click on the ellipses, I can go down to manage team and within manage team, if I expand this option here, I could see all the different members of the team all of these people will gain access to the shared calendar that we're going to create. So let's go back to the main team channel and the way we're gonna create a shared calendar is through SharePoint. Now every single team's team has a SharePoint site backing it and to get to the SharePoint site, the easiest way to do it is to go up to the tabs here and to click on files. Once we click on files, you'll see another level or another layer of tabs here, and we wanna click on this open in SharePoint. What this will do is this will open up the SharePoint site that backs my team in Teams. What we wanna do is over on the left-hand navigation, let's go ahead and click on home. And once we're on the home view, we're gonna click on the new dropdown list right here. And once this submenu appears, let's go all the way to the bottom and click on the one that says app. Within the app view, you'll see a whole bunch of different apps you can add to your SharePoint site. The one we're interested in today is the one that's called calendar and let me click on that. And now I could assign a name to this calendar. So I gave it the very original name of calendar and now I'm gonna click on create. Once I create the calendar, SharePoint drops me in the site contents area. This shows me all of the different site contents associated with this SharePoint site. And the one that I just created is the one called calendar. So I'm gonna click into this. Once I click in, I see my calendar view and some of the things that I can do within this view is up here on the top bar, I could click on events. And here I could create various events. I could also click on calendar and here I could shift the view whether I want it to be a day view, a week view, and I have all sorts of different calendar controls. I wanna get this sh uh, shared calendar into Microsoft Teams and to do that, it's very simple. All I need to do is go up to the address bar and then I'm going to copy this address. Once I copy the address, let's shift back into Microsoft Teams. So I'm in the browser, so I'm gonna click on the Teams tab. If you're in the desktop app, feel free to navigate back to the desktop app. Back here, now what we could do to bring the shared calendar in, we could click on this plus icon, which allows us to add a new tab. And right here, it brings up the add a tab dialog. And within this dialog, what we wanna do is click on the option that says website. We just copied this URL and we're gonna paste it into this URL field. Now we could name it something, and for the tab name, maybe I'll just call this calendar, and here I could indicate whether I want this to post to the channel, uh, so everyone's aware that I've now added a new tab. That seems like a good thing to do, so I'll leave that checked. And now that I've entered the name, I've also entered the URL, let's go ahead and click on save. What you'll see happen now is I have a new tab on the top bar, so I could click on into each tab. Here's my posts view. Um, within posts, what you'll see is it lets everyone know that there's a new calendar tab on top. If I click into files, I see my shared files. And now if I click into calendar, I'll see a shared calendar for this group. 
anyone in this team can now access this calendar. And so in the example I gave before, let's say you work for an organization where uh, you wanna keep track of your vacations uh, in teams. And so everyone can see when you know various people in the team are out, you could do that here. Or if you're a teacher and you wanna create assignments or when tests are coming up on this calendar, you could go ahead and do that. Uh, here, when I hover over a date, you'll see there's an option to add different events to the calendar. Not only can you add the calendar directly here within Teams, you could also connect it to Microsoft Outlook. And to do that, we're gonna navigate back to SharePoint. Once I click on SharePoint within the calendar pivot on top of the page, there's an option here that's under the connect and export section called connect to Outlook. If we click on that, what it'll ask me to do, or it prompts me if I wanna open this in Outlook and click on open Outlook. And once Outlook opens up, I'll see a prompt that asks me whether I wanna connect this SharePoint calendar to Outlook, and yes, I do, so I'm gonna click on yes. And what you'll see happen now is I now have my Kevin Stratford YouTube channel calendar in my Outlook, and here it's alongside my personal calendar. I'm gonna close my personal calendar, so the shared calendar will take up the full screen. And what I can do now that I'm in Outlook and I have the calendar view up, I could create events within here. So let's say that uh, tomorrow I wanna create an event. Let me go ahead and create this. So I've created an event here on my calendar. Now when I go back into Microsoft Teams, I'm back in the calendar view. Here I could see the event or the appointment that I just added within Outlook, and that shows up on the shared calendar. That was a quick tutorial showing you how you could add a shared calendar into Microsoft Teams and how you can also connect that shared calendar to Microsoft Outlook, all using SharePoint as the backend for the calendar. If you learned how to create shared calendars and add it into Microsoft Teams, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see future videos like this, hit that subscribe button, that way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, please leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope to see you next time, bye.